Welcome to the Hassan Studio, and I'm so excited today because I just got a present in the mail. We'll be doing a little bit of an unboxing video for SEC Calligraphy. These are artisans out of Italy who make gorgeous pen sets. I've just received mine in the mail, and so I thought I would walk you through and, and show you everything that came in the mail. So let's dive in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap this gorgeous pen holder. You may or may not be able to see, but my name or my initials uh, have been engraved on that pen holder. And so this is packed very well again. Ladies, gentlemen, if you're looking for a gift, I'm going to highly recommend this gorgeous set. So it comes wrapped with a bow. I'm going to just go ahead and undo the bow and take this out of here. Let's get rid of the ugly stuff and let's just go with the beautiful stuff. So look at this presentation. So here's this beautiful wood box. Now, in order to open this box, it doesn't just open. You slide it forward and then it opens and so it will stay open. And inside here, I have these these three gorgeous writing instruments and all of these are engraved with my initials. So if you love writing with beautiful tools or you know somebody that loves writing with beautiful tools and you're looking for a gift to get them, this might be a great one for you. Now, when you open the box, this set of pen holders actually comes with instructions. The instructions are very simple. Don't let them intimidate you. They're in Italian and they're in English. And it has to do with the way that you insert something into these pens. So basically, when you insert this nib into the pen, you're going to put it in and it's just a little bit loose. And then all you do is twist. And then all of a sudden you have a very tight fit and a very firm pen nib in this holder. Now, as you saw in the unboxing, the first thing I took out was this gorgeous ink holder. As this rotates, you can, you can rotate it to varying degrees. Uh, so if you want the ink holder this way, or if you want the ink holder this way, depending on your left or right handed, you can actually put your pens down. And then when you pick your pens up, you still have access to the ink. One of the things is this is this particular size. I've looked around the studio. I, I don't have anything perfect that fits that size. So uh, sorry, Ernesto. Sorry, Stefano. <laughs> uh, what I've done is I've just taken some electrical tape and I've put a candle holder actually that I use for ink all the time. And I've used just enough electrical tape that it happens to fit perfect. So I'm going to use this for my demonstration. I hope you don't mind. I'll add a little bit of walnut ink in here. So we filled this with ink. And now I'm going to go ahead and prepare to write. I usually use one of these gloves in order to keep any kind of oils or anything off the paper. And so here is this holder. Let me go ahead and place this somewhere where I can write. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and just go ahead and fill my brush. And this is the Speedball A-series nib. I'm going to write a uh, spurred Gothic Roman letter. Um, this comes from one of the classes that I'm teaching online uh, in writing with the bent nib. And so these speedball bent nibs are interesting. Most people have never used the square one. And so I'm going to take this nib and let's make a go ahead and make a double stacked Roman A and we'll write it in the spurred Gothic method. And so I'm going to come down here I'm going to spring out of the stem to make the bowl. And then I'm going to turn the pen over and I'm going to add spurs. And in, in um, this is called spurred Gothic because in 1910 and 1920, serifs were referred to as spurs as well in the American lettering community. So Gothic meaning this letter is a uniform width stroke uh, throughout the letter and spurred Gothic, meaning it has serifs. Um, also, one of the characteristics which I delve into deeply in the class is that uh, there are some thicks and thins that need to be fixed, but 
I'm writing this. It feels extremely smooth. This pen is beautiful and I love to write it. The pen holder I'm excited about is the double-sided pen holder. One of the reasons I'm excited about it is because it's a full-size pen holder, so I can have uh, two different nibs, one on each side, and that's going to come in handy for some lettering that I have sort of sketched out here. Some of you may be familiar with some of the early speedball textbooks, and in those textbooks, Ross George did a type of lettering that he called Vanity Roman. It's a gorgeous style of lettering. It requires a little bit of pre-planning, but it also requires two different size pen nibs. So let's go ahead and start um, working with these pens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller pen nib. This is a Speedball B5 round nib, and I'm just going to work with the outlines. So if I draw these outlines with a very thin line, then what I'm going to do is create, and let's go ahead and cross the A like Ross George did with a sort of a loop and a curly cue. I know many of you will like that. Um, and so I'll finish these lines. So that's a pretty nice outlined letter. Now I'm going to turn the pen over and I'm going to use the thicker Speedball B, I just covered it with ink. I think that's a B1 or a B2. And I'm going to add a thick line. And so I'm gonna start the beginning. I think I'll put a dot sort of right here where the cross is, and then I'll continue. And so now I have a variable line or multi-line letter with thicks and thins. And so Ross George really kind of created a, a beautiful alphabet. And so even though this seems like a drawn letter form uh, with multi-strokes, you'll notice that each part of the multi-strokes are actually single strokes. And so it's, it becomes a very interesting style. And so if I do a lowercase a again, I can come back in and I can just, uh, you know, maybe I'll connect these. Maybe I'll connect these and add that dot. And so now I have a really sort of a fun and playful letter that uh, I, can, I can work with and give myself some varying degrees of options. And this particular pen holder is really perfect for these letters. So if this is something that interests you, then I would highly recommend that you check into the double-sided pen holder because it really is a, um, uh, works beautifully for these letters. Again, it has an excellent grip on each side that will sort of form fit to your fingers. It's a very comfortable pen holder. Next is the oblique pen holder from SEC Calligraphy. Again, a beautifully tooled holder. The pen nib is just at the perfect angle for me. Now, those of you who know me, I'm not uh, known for pointed pen work. I, I like doing it. Many times I use a straight pen holder, uh, but this is gonna make me wanna use an oblique pen holder. I will tell you that right now. Um, in this particular case, I, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fill the nib with a brush, that seems easier for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the paper. Uh, this oblique pen holder, for those of you who haven't used these, these are designed so that you hold the pen perpendicular to the line you wanna write in. So if this is the line I wanna write on, then I'm going to hold the pen perpendicular and I'm automatically now on the right angle for the pen to give me the thicks and thins on the right angle that I want. So let's just see, see if we can give this a shot and not embarrass myself. Uh, and so let's go ahead and... Yeah, pen ink's not, ink's not flowing, ink is splattering, perfect. So 
So yeah, boy, that's a, a pretty smooth, decently smooth line. Maybe not a perfect C, but not horrible either, I don't think. I'm gonna just go ahead and do my own style, which is really a much more informal style than uh, something like a uh, formal copper plate or Spencerian. Now, for those of you who don't aren't aware, I'm going to, I'm attempting to write um, Stefano Costantini's name. Um, I misspelled it, Costantini, uh, twice in practice already. So maybe we can think that we can get it right this time. We'll dot these eyes. Let's just go ahead, Stefano, do you mind if I do a double cross T? How about this? How about if we just fill this with ink a little bit and we'll just do it this way. Since you have two T's. Maybe that worked, maybe it didn't. Maybe I need a little more practice. Told you I wasn't a pointed pen guy, but in any case, here is um, Stefano. Stefano's name written with his pen, which... Really, this pen has a beautiful weight to it because of the wood and uh, a wonderful quality to it. It's, it's a very nice pen to write with. So, if you're looking for a nice gift set or a nice particular gift pen, one particular pen, whether it be single-sided, double-sided, or um, something that you want to get for that calligrapher in your life or you want to recommend that somebody get for you, I'd highly recommend these SEC pens. It's a beautiful set. I'm so looking forward to using it. It visually just has a great appeal and I love having it on my desk. Thanks for watching this YouTube channel. All of the links that you would want will be down below and we will see you next time.